The 70-765 provisioning SQL databases exam is brand new here in SQL Server. So because of that, whenever we hit a new section worth of objectives, we're going to take a brief nugget to go over those objectives to get a feel for what's covered. The very first section is focused on implementing SQL in Azure, using both platform as a service, PaaS, and infrastructure as a service models. Let's take a closer look. The Implement SQL in Azure section, our first of three, is also the biggest here, consuming about 40 to 45 percent of the questions on the exam. And we've converted each one of these right here into a module. So four modules make up this section. And again, as I mentioned, it is very heavily focused on Platform as a Service, which is Azure SQL Database, as well as Infrastructure as a Service, which is hosting SQL Server on Azure Virtual Machines. Our first module instead of objectives is going to be focused on Azure SQL Database, which is Microsoft's platform as a service technology used to just simply host databases up there in the cloud. So this first module is going to get you up to speed on the core components and functions of Azure SQL DB. We'll talk service tiers, elastic pools, DTUs, EDTUs, logical servers, physical databases, and more. The next module will prepare you to plan for a SQL Server installation for both types of deployments, infrastructure as a service, so fully hosted and managed up there in Azure, as well as on-prem deployments where you're responsible for the hardware. The next module will have you put that plan to action and physically deploy SQL Server instances, again, both on-prem as well as in the cloud. This module will also cover both manual and automatic deployment of our SQL Server instances and how we can make both of those very simple and repeatable by using templates. Our final module for this section takes us down to the database level where we'll be deploying SQL Server databases to Azure VMs. So this is very infrastructure as a service focused. So we'll cover all the methods used to migrate our on-prem databases up into Azure, tweak performance, and configure high availability. Now, throughout these modules, and really throughout this course, we're going to be using all the tools possible to interact with Azure. On the back end, we'll be using Azure PowerShell, as well as the Azure CLI. And on the front end, we'll be using the Azure Portal, as well as SQL Server Management Studio. So as you can see, and as the title implies, this is a very Azure-heavy section in a very Azure-heavy exam. In this CBT Nugget, we took a brief look at the objectives covered for this section on implementing SQL in Azure. So prepare yourself for SQL Server in the cloud. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.